Well today guys, in this video we're going to be recording some guitar on an old school 4 track. Let's get into it. So what is going on everybody? Thank you so much for joining me for today's video. My name is Ray, I'm a guitar player here on YouTube and today we're going to be taking a look at an old school piece of equipment, how our parents used to record our mixtapes. That's right, we're talking about a 4 track tape deck. So now what exactly is this? This thing is a 4 track with two um, auxiliary tracks or two sends if you will, I believe that's what they are, and then a master fader. So basically, it's the difference between having a DAW with unlimited tracks in theory versus 4 tracks. And so what's kind of cool and kind of um, challenging at the same time is the fact that you have to make decisions and you have to decide on what you're going to do with all these four tracks. So why do I have this thing? Well guys, I'm a student at the University of Arts in Center City in Philadelphia and I have a project where I have to do uh, some sort of arrangement with a four track, aka this thing. So this is the school's four track and I have it rented out and I have to return it here within, you know, within a couple hours. But I figured why not do some uh, cool guitar work for you guys and uh, show you guys how this thing works, all right? So how today's video is gonna work, guys, is I'm just gonna record some stuff using my Mesa Boogie Mark 525. It's just out of frame, going right into this thing using the cab clone. Not exactly the best cab IR, but I'm making do with what I got here. And then I've got a Keeley um, Reverb and Delay V2, I think it's called, uh, effects pedal down below. And so I'm just gonna just record some guitar, man, using all four tracks, and I might throw a little bass on there and just uh, kind of roll with it, you know what I mean? This is all done live and this will be all done, you know, essentially just on the tape and then um, you know I'll play it back and I'll run it through the doll and I'll, I'll show you guys uh, how it sounds I hope everything goes well I've kind of had this thing for a couple hours now and been playing around with it so I hope it all comes out good man so uh, first thing I got to do is fast forward on my tape to a certain spot where there's actually some free space to record then I got to hit reset which then turns the tape spot uh, uh, that I'm at at zero if you will and that's the start of my song or my track and then every time I play and or record, I have to return to zero and that'll stop and start right back where I was, if that makes any sense, all right? All right, so here's my tone. Getting some signal there, so that's good. Um, nothing left to do now but to uh, record and just uh, go for it. Hopefully I don't mess up. Here we go, pressure's on. Cool, I did it. So now I have to uh, hit return to zero, and then that will put me back to zero, and then I can play what I just recorded. And then I can also um, mix it too as well. Right, cool so it works so I gotta hit return to zero and now I'm gonna do something very very similar on the next track so switch over now I'm doing track number two so I got to arm track two make sure I'm getting signal um, there we go hit signal I'm just going to do the exact same thing. So um, I'm going to do something similar here and try to play in time with the previous track.
All right, cool. So now I've got two tracks under my belt. I'm starting to get a little bit more comfortable here. Um, it's, uh, it's a little bit easier once you get the first one on your belt. So just real quick, um, if you guys um, are hearing it in mono, it's because I haven't really figured out how to pan everything left and right yet um, in screen flow. So right now everything's just right down the middle and in mono. But when I, um, when I bounce it out at the end of this video, I'll give you guys the full on project, if you will, and I'll be able to pan left and right and give you guys a more, um, a more uh, accurate stereo type of sound. Um, so now I got two tracks left. I'm gonna do a bass one and I'll do one more guitar. So I'll just go, um, I'll go track three here and then I'll do like a third guitar track and then I'll put the bass on track four. Arm track three. I'm gonna add it up. I'm gonna change it up here. So I'm gonna get rid of um, get rid of the chimey reverb there, and um, I'm just gonna uh, add some third guitar and try something out here. So let's go for it. All right, cool. So um, I kind of messed up there a little bit, but whatever, you know, whatever. So uh, I'm gonna switch gears real quick, and then I'm gonna do track number four, and uh, I'll throw on some fuzzy bass. I got a fuzz pedal that I'll uh, use for that. Yeah, it's better. So return to zero, and now I'm going to plug the bass, get rid of all that, um, unplug it so there's no interference or anything like that. And so now my job is to, to mix it, if you will. So now just off camera, I just got the levels right and I quote unquote mixed it. So now all I have to do is hit record on my DAW here, make sure both tracks are armed, and now all I have to do is hit, um, hit play, and uh, it should work. And that's it, now I'm done. Now I can just uh, pan these tracks left and right and I can mix or not mix at all if I want with these tracks. But basically, I've got the real tape sound going through my DAW and now I'm gonna have a real tape sound for a guitar. Pretty cool. So all in all guys, what I hope you got from this video is just a little trip down memory lane and showing how you know the people before me certainly were doing it, um, You know, even before computers were really a thing. 
um, having you know very limited capabilities and only like I said four tracks man and then you have a couple sends here and then a master fader but really this is all you got man you didn't have like a doll where you could just have a, you know in theory a hundred tracks you had to work with what you got and if I were to start to add like vocals and, and drums or you know whatever I'd really have to start to make some decisions about what do I really need in my song so it's pretty cool man so stick around for the end of this video I'm gonna give you guys a short little finished product sound um, you know the, the wave file the mp3 file whatever I decide to use for this um, for this project so as I'm showing my patrons I'll uh, give you guys some some uh, snippets of, of this track and let you guys hear what it sounds like man so I hope you guys dug it I had a lot of fun making it and uh, yeah I hope you guys learned something and learned how the people before before us were doing it man so thank you guys so much for watching if you guys enjoyed it please like and share and hit that subscribe button if you're brand new to my channel I'd really appreciate it I'm out of here guys stay metal as always and I'll see you guys next time later